Hey everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a wrecked ring pour that I will spin out also. And as you see, I was just scraping uh, off my first one because I used Payne's Gray and just felt it muddied things up. So right now it's working as a base for the rest of my colors to slide around. So I'm filling the cup here. I'll tell you the colors. Can't see them real great. Sorry about that. This is metallic white. And then I also used DecoArt 24 karat gold. And then I used a mix of metallic red, metallic blue, metallic purple to get this Mm, magenta type purpley color there I'm just putting more white before I add this color which is um, metallic cobalt blue with a little metallic white I also put a little metallic white in the uh, red blue purple mix just a little and then I'm just going to repeat that's all the colors that I'm using and I'm leaving out the Payne's Gray this time. As you can see, I finally got some gloves. They're ridiculously huge. It's all I could find. <laughs> but I definitely need them for my resin work, so I'm glad I got them. So here goes the ring pour. I don't know if you could tell how thick my paints were, but you could stand the stick up in the cup. Basically a mound on a mound when you're pouring it off your stick. I decided to start big with the ring and then come on into the center and finish out there. My medium is my two parts Elmer's Glue All one part water, which is like a cup of glue all with half a cup of water. That's basically how I do it. I eyeball it, shake it up in the jug, and let it sit overnight so that it'll settle and get rid of all the foamy bubbles. If you use it right away, you're going to end up with a whole lot of teeny weeny little white um, bubbles that pop on your painting, and that's not good at all. I'm just putting the remainder of that red, blue, purple, white, metallic mix around the edge. So besides the medium of the glue and water, as I was saying, I have still been adding the Liquitex high gloss varnish just maybe half a teaspoon to each cup of paint and mixing it in before I put in the medium. And I'm working with three ounce cups, maybe two ounces of paint. So that's why only a tiny little bit. You would obviously use a little more if you were using a bigger cup. So now here I decided I'm going to wreck it with a fork and try to get those really cool feathery formations happening. The colors are just gorgeous now. And when you see the dried results at the end, you'll see what I mean with all the shimmer and sparkle. So I want to thank you all for visiting my channel. If you're a regular subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for all your support. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. And if you're brand new and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Click the subscribe button and then the bell next to it 
and choose all and you will get future notifications. It's free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And share this video too, if you, if you like it. So here I decided that that Payne's grayish background was too dull. So I'm using the remainder of my metallic cobalt blue, and then I'm going back in with the fork to pull some of that in. Now it's really, really looking cool. Sorry about the shaking, but the tripod is right up against the table and I keep bumping it. So I've been working with resin. I made my own six coaster mold with silicone. Watched uh, quite a few artists do it on YouTube, starting with uh, Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. And uh, I think it worked. And I will be filming that very, very shortly. And thank you also to all my subscribers for bringing me over 300 new subscribers total. So hopefully we can keep on growing. Maybe when I reach 500, we can do a giveaway to celebrate. So as you can see, I'm basically just spinning and then um, tilting a little bit to bring it more to the center. And it's really spreading out really, really pretty. Now I'm just gonna mess with the center a little bit, add a little bit of gold for a little brightness. It reminds me very much of uh, like a dream catcher without the cord in the center going, you know, back and forth doing the crisscross thing, of course. But that's what it makes me think of. And feathers. So I'm probably going to call this dream feathers. <laughs> so my last torch and stay tuned for the dried results coming up in just a moment. Wait till you see how really sparkly. Look at all the details. It's so much better when you look close up. So I hope you like this. Um, all the paints and information about my mediums, Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc., how to contact me is in the description below. And thank you again for watching. And I will be back again soon. And until then, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.